paper. <sighs> Plastic. Plastic. What ever happened to just plain old garbage? You want some help? I can handle it myself, thank you. Sorry I asked. Yeah, me too. I'm just butt out. What is it this time? I lost my keys, you bozo, and now I'm locked out of my apartment. Oh, that's too bad. They're probably stuck way at the bottom of the trash can. Why is this happening to me? What? You know, I, I would have helped you, but... Oh, my goodness. I thought I hired you to write a uh, fashion copy and social <laughs> gossip. Now, didn't I do that? I know. What happened? Mm -hmm. I don't know. You just have an act being at the right place at the right time. That's all. Yeah. <sighs> but you don't like it, do you? <laughs> Look, honey, everybody wants to talk to Alec. And uh, you just happen to get a wonderful interview with him. It's just I want to know, how much do you really believe this? Well, obviously you have doubts. I'm a skeptical person, and, well, I also have some... I need you in the office. Yes, thank you. You, uh, tailing me again, Mr. McKinnon? Trying to get a lead on my next big scoop? Sorry, sweetheart, I couldn't, I couldn't care less. Oh, right. Mm. You, uh, you already got your paper into press. <laughs> hmm? No, I haven't written a word. Writer's block, huh? Wait, you know what? Um, that is not gonna help, but maybe you'd like it if I gave you a couple of uh, hints to get you started. I'll tell you what. You could have a smoking gun and a killer sign confession, and I wouldn't bite. You're serious, aren't you? Game's over. You, you win all the chips. Oh, my God. Lucinda fired you, didn't she? I quit. Oh, don't worry. Don't worry, young lady. You'll definitely find something... Something else to hate me over. Hello, Margo. Or should I say Detective Hughes? You see, I know Margo. I know everything. You're still a cop, and I'm your case. Alec, um... Don't try and deny it. You see, I'm pretty close to the edge myself. How did, how did you find me? I have a talent for investigation, just like you. You know what, you're right. We have a lot to talk about. We, we should go inside. No. Just tell me the truth. I never quit the department. I was working undercover to find out who you really are. And instead I find out who you really are. That's too bad, Margo. Because now the ball's in my court. Well, that's been the attraction all along, hasn't it? What's that? You knew I was dangerous. I knew you were dangerous. That was our little game. That was your game, Margot. See, I thought I'd been an amazing woman. Someone who, if I was lucky, might even fall for me. But you knew I was a cop at heart. You knew that all along. But my feelings were real. You know, I was a bad guy who'd had enough. I thought maybe you were a good girl who'd had enough, too, and maybe we could meet somewhere in the middle. Oh, well, we did. You were faking it. No, I wasn't. I just needed to know you better. I told you that all along. You're still waters run deep, Alec. And I couldn't see the bottom. Once I found out about Eddie, then I could see clearly. And leave Eddie out I of it. I can't leave Eddie out of it. I'm not going to leave Eddie out of it. I love him, and we're bonded. And now that I know that you're his father, you know that I care about you, don't you, Alec? Actually, I do. So where does it leave us? There aren't too many choices, are there? 
But I think I have one very simple solution. What's that? Oh, my God, Allie. It's too late, Marco. Here. What is this? What you've been looking for all along. Evidence to put me away. Where's your partner, Mom? Hi, Mom. Great to see you. You're looking I'm terrific. serious, Mom. This is urgent. He's not in his office. He's not in his suite. He's not answering his cell phone. He's just disappeared. Tom, don't you understand? Alec does not discuss his schedule with me, honey. Why don't you so upset? You've read what they've written about him in the newspapers, Mom. You know who he is. Well, yeah, if you want to believe some of the stuff you read in Lucinda's papers. And I do. Margaret's been undercover, working inside his organization. I... I knew it. I just knew that Marco could not be falling for that man. So I don't know what's going on, but I have a feeling Wallace does. <sighs> Tom, what are you talking about, honey? He stopped by the house looking for her. Katie let it slip that she was out of town. You should have seen the look on his face. Well, she didn't say where Marco was, did she? No, but she had left a phone number in case of an emergency for the kids. He lifted it. He's after her, Mom. After her? Tom, you... Honey, you don't think he would really do anything to hurt her, do you? If he thinks Margaret's double-crossed him, I think he's capable of anything. There you go. Enjoy. The detailed records of my brief criminal career. You know, I must say it was a lucrative job. A very buried cornerstone of Wallace Enterprises. I would have stayed buried if I didn't let you into my life. Oh, no, I doubt that. Well, whatever. It's all there. Names, dates, detailed plans, everything the DA could want, and then some. Alec, why? You're the one wearing the white hat, Margot. You have to get your man, right? That's how the story goes. I am so happy to see you because I am utterly and completely lost. What's your room number? Oh, uh, it, it's not my room I'm looking for. It, it's my friend's. I, th I think she's in a little bit of trouble. Ask the front desk for security. Oh, no, no, no. No, not, not that kind of trouble. I mean, not official. No. Listen, she met, she met this guy over the internet, and like a real ding -a she agreed to go out with him sight on scene. <laughs> So I'm, I'm supposed to come to her rescue if he turns out to be a real troll, you know? So I, I just need her room number. Her name's Margot Hughes. Oh, she's right here. Oh. This is her dinner. Oh, that is such a relief. Oh. So you are uh, going to come to her rescue? No. No way. You see, I saw the guy who walked through that door, and he is, like, totally gorgeous. Perfect for my friend Margot. I'm thrilled. Wait, um, one more thing. Uh, since I know everything's okay in there, I'd like to give him a little nudge, you know? So you can do me a favor. Come here. Send up a bottle of champagne. Best bottle you got. But it has to come compliments of the hotel, okay? You can't say a word about little old me. <laughs> Here's a little something for you, for being so sweet. It's all romantic, you know? Say, what's your room number? Uh... Uh... <laughs> you got me all flustered. You know what? I'm... I'm on my way out. I've checked out. I gotta get home to spread the good news, you know? Margot finally got lucky. Thanks. To Lucinda Walsh. May she and the City Times go up in flames. You know what? You, you are absolutely amazing. I mean, you have all these responsibilities. You have a wife, you have children, you have two more babies on the way, and you are not even willing to budge one inch, even if it means losing your job. Now, oh, Vicky and I won't starve. Oh, well, great. Hey, that's, that is fabulous. You're financially secure. You can spend a lot of time with the twins when they come. Happy as an oyster. Right, because you look at sitting here, drinking alone, muttering to yourself. The only reason that I am alone is my wife is in New York taking care of her mother. You regret it, don't you? I don't do 
regret. Because mm, a man's got to do what a man's got to do. Even if that means losing the biggest story of his lifetime, his kind of story full of passion, violence, mystery, full of every level of human emotion. Well, you know what? You can't win them all. Although I must say it would have been fun to kick some Argus butt. Huh. Well, sadly, we will never find that out. What are you talking about? You were letting Alec Wallace walk you down the garden path. This, this story, let me tell you something. This story is like a, like a, like a, uh, 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 iceberg. Right? I mean, it's dramatic to look at, but most of it is under the surface. You gotta keep digging. Well, then why are you giving up? Come on, I never pictured you for a, a quitter and a coward. What? I had plans for the city time. Yeah, I know. I mean, the... It was drifting. It, it, it needed some focus. It needed somebody who was who was smart enough to know what to do, and yet and yet tough enough to deal with that old broad. That old broad would like to have a word with you, Mr. McKinnon. Colt Mushu, Big Ten football. Yeah, first down, baby. My good luck or what? Down out here, it's late. Yeah, no kidding. It's also getting cold. Strike that. It's freezing. <sighs> so there's your case. All you need are a few confirming witnesses, and you can put me behind bars for a very long time. And not usually at a loss for words, Marco. No. Well, it's understandable. I doubt you have too many suspects who give you a full confession, complete with documentation. But why, Alec? I don't understand why. I mean, you would have gotten away scot-free. Nobody had anything on you. Why now? Why give it all to me? Because I was sick and tired of watching my back. Sick and tired of waiting when it was going to be my turn. And after Eddie got shot, I knew something had to change. And you regretted all of this? At the time, no. But later... There'd be days at the office where I'd be sitting behind my desk, putting together a deal or whatever. And suddenly, I'd just want to trash the place. I'd call the secretary, I'd tell her to cancel all my appointments. I'd just sit there and I'd brood. I mean, what did I have to show for my life? I wasn't doing jail time, but I didn't get off scot-free either. No, I guess not. As for your other question, why you? I think you know the answer to that one. No, I don't, Alec. Why me? Well, I certainly couldn't imagine burying my soul to hell months ago. But you know you're gonna have to eventually. Probably. But the real reason I came to you first was... I like a stay of execution, Detective Hughes. But I, don't, I don't understand. I was hoping that you'd grant me a few extra hours of freedom before you took me back. Just you and me. You know something? Why don't you, why don't you check your broom out of valley and just fly yourself home, all right? No. <sighs> all right. Just say what you're going to say, because you're about ready to ruin a perfectly good buzz. Uh... Dear, would you give us a moment? I just need a moment alone with this guy. Sure. Whoa, whoa, I... whoa, whoa. Hot time, time. Whoa. Nobody here works for you anymore, okay? Is there a problem here? I mean, if there is, perhaps uh, I can help you work it out. Oh, Lisa, that'll be the day. Oh, I see. Therapy has certainly not improved your manners. Have... Oh, but then I... <laughs> I guess you can't uh, rehabilitate something you don't have now, can you? <laughs> <laughs> Are you trying to tell me that she's always been like this? Oh, always. Always. She's got the manners of a... Well, of a drilled sergeant's pit bull. Is that right? <laughs> <laughs> well, this is one pup who ain't in her platoon anymore. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. Rick? 
Is he not working with you anymore? You mean to tell me, Lucinda, you let this man go? You're slipping, honey. Uh, would you like to have a little meeting with me? I mean, I really... I'm always interested in your talent. Uh, <laughs> excuse me. Yeah. This man is still my editor. No, he's not. Jake, <laughs> please, can I have a moment? Please. Hold on a second. You all hear that? <laughs> she said, please. I don't think those words ever passed out your... Excuse me, young ladies. Would you mind, would you mind uh, giving me a minute here? Because I, I am completely rocked off my, my feet. Come, right this way. Please, please. I can't believe... Okay, shoot your minute, but it's still not gonna change my mind. Not even for the story of the season? About what? Alec Wallace, of what are you course. What are talking about, Lucina? That's all we got in the rift about the first place. Yeah. But I have something new to add to the brew. But I can't tell you what it is until I know that you're on my team. I'm not. Well, if you knew, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, you might be. Hey, come on. You don't want to quit. You're aching for this story. Are you not saying anything? I'm not Margo. I'm Detective Hughes. I see. Well, is there any chance that Margo could come back? Just for a night. I could really use a friend. That's all I'm asking. Margo. A few extra hours. It's a very beautiful, exceptional woman. Someone who's been one of the few genuine surprises in my life. No yesterdays, no tomorrows. No world below the 23rd floor. Just you and me. Look, I know you're probably feeling betrayed right now. Besides, I'm sure I'm nothing like the man of your dreams. I'm certainly light years away from the guy you married. Tom wasn't perfect. Margot, we've both held out on each other. But everything's out in the open now. We've got nothing, nothing to come between us now. Madame? What? I didn't order this. Not me. The wine is compliments of the hotel, Madame. Enjoy. So what'll it be? You want to send me straight to jail first? Or have a glass of champagne instead? Sure that I have anything, it anything. I'll wrap myself up in an old blanket. Hell, I'll even wrap myself up in a rug. I'll see what I got. Thank you. Come in and shut the door. You're letting the cold air in. Most of my stuff's at my other place, so I don't have much. Yeah, 
And what you did bring is kind of all over the place. Oh, well, that's, that's... Obviously, you have many trips to the trash can. How many days old is it? You know, I've only been here for two days, all right? Yeah, and somehow you've managed to make the place all your own already. Yeah. You know, a Andy has a sweatshirt around here somewhere, and I don't know where it is. Planning a celibate life of work and studying, are you? Who, me? You're never going to get a girl over here unless you blindfold her. What are you talking about? Uh, <clears throat> it's a little messy. I guess you just want your own space, right? Where'd you find that? I used to live here, remember? So have you heard from Andy? No, Andy hasn't called. You know, I, I never meant to hurt him. You know what, but you did. It's funny, I, neither one of us <laughs> expected us to date, you know? And in the beginning, we, we thought it was crazy because we were such opposites, but actually, <laughs> we, were, we were pretty good for each other. Yeah, getting together with some other guy that was really good for Andy. I hurt him, okay? Chris, I know that. And I'm sorry about it. You have no idea how badly I wanted it to work out. Yeah, so did Andy. He deserves better than me anyway. Well, why did you let him fall in love with you then? I didn't let him. It just happens. You know, bad girl, nice guy. Opposites attract. Okay. The hard part is making it last. Andy thought that you had changed. So did I. We should have tried harder. Oh. You know, people... People always talk about working on their relationships and working on changing their old patterns. And I just... I don't, I'm not so sure that really helps, you know? Well, I mean, yeah. Everybody should try to be better, gentler, kinder people, but we are who we are. I mean, take me. I, I get in trouble a lot. That's what I do. I don't, I don't plan to do it. I'm not proud of it. It just happens. And then I get left out in the cold a lot. <sighs> Speaking of which, I don't know why this super isn't back yet. Is this light not on yet? Uh-uh. Listen, can you keep your mouth shut? There's a game on, and, and if you can be quiet, then I guess you can stay here until the super gets back. Thank you. <clears throat> Cold Chinese? Yes. Yeah. You know, actually, I like this stuff best when it's cold. So do I. Let's go, boys. Now, my inside sources tell me that the Oakdale police have learned that the hitman made a call to Alec Wallace on his cell phone. Therefore, they were acquainted. Uh -huh. No, could have been, could have been first contact. Unlisted number, unlikely. Come on, Senator, could have been a setup, could have been blackmail, could have been, could have been deal gone wrong. Could have been an accident. There are just so many angles, and all of them intriguing. Now, I'm willing to give you whatever backup you need, just so long as you keep me in the loop. No, 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 no. I did not, I did not agree to come back to work for the City Times. As a matter of fact, what you just spelled out to me, I'm sure it would be a story that the Argus would love to have. Ugh. Ugh. My source, my story. Take it elsewhere, and I sue. Is that right? Because the carrot you just dangled in front of me, it didn't have any copyright to it. As a matter of fact, it didn't even have an offer. I don't think I heard, please, Jake, oh, please, with sugar on top, please come back and work for me. No offer like that. Clearly, I want you to come back. I get some autonomy here. I mean, are you going to promise me that you're not going to print any of my stories until they're finished? 
terrific prospect, isn't it, to actually let somebody do what you hired them to do, isn't it, Lucinda? You are a very arrogant, impossible oh. person. Birds of a feather, so listen. And the City Times can survive perfectly well without you. I'll get back my old editor. Hell, I'll edit the thing myself. You'd ruin it. It's your choice. Your choice. I will agree not to print anything expressly against your wishes. I'll even throw in another please to sweeten the pot, please. All right. Have yourself a deal. Excellent. Don't you ever learn from your mistakes? Oh, I have. Now it's time for Margot to learn from hers. She's betraying Tom, my <clears throat> friend. How can I let her get away with that? Because you're not acting as a friend. You followed Alec and Margot to spy on them. Tom isn't going to like that. So tell him that I was investigating Alec. You know, Alec left town and I followed. I had no idea I was going to find him trysting with Margot. Emily, Tom is the father of your child. That is exactly my point. And he loves Daniel, but he does not love you. Not now. And you might if Margot were out of the way. And you have a good, civil relationship with him. You can both enjoy your baby. But if you start trying to manipulate things, especially by causing trouble for Margot, you're going to lose everything. You know, it's always nice to have Mother on my side. Honey, I am on your side. Right, right. So you know what? I guess we'll just agree to disagree, won't we? As usual. That is Tom. Don't you dare say a word, Mother. You're, uh, that doesn't sound urgent. Yeah, come on in. Um, something's happened. I think you should know about. Quarterback drops back in the pocket. He's got his man long. He's got his man long. Go, baby. Throw it. It's in the air. Yes! Touchdown. Nice. Do you always do your commentary? Of course. I love to hear myself talk. Oh, that's really charming. Yes. They're going for a two-point conversion. Nice. They could win. It's a stupid move. What are you talking about? They're going to win the game. No, they're not. Yeah, they are. What do you... The defensive line is way too good. Right tackle almost got him on the last play. He's not going to miss him again. You're crazy. Bet, bet me a dollar. You want to bet? All right, you're on. And you're going to lose. Yeah, I don't think so. Watch. Here goes. Drops back. Seizes. He's open. He's hoping. Come on, throw the yeah, ball. Yeah, here comes 58. Just throw like the I ball. Said. Throw. <laughs> I told you. Okay, okay. Here's your, uh, here's your dollar. Thank you. How'd you get so good at, at, at football, anyways, man? How'd you know about it? Oh, I don't know. This and that here and there and everywhere. In the spring, I switched to tennis. You, uh, do you baseball too, or? No, it's too slow for me. Yeah, I can, I can see that actually. I should probably check on the, uh, the super yeah, stupid back. Yeah, absolutely. It's late, and it's probably about time I just break in a window or something. Oh no, you, you don't have to do that. No, I, it's better than freezing my butt off on a chaise all night. Well, yeah, I mean you could stay here. Excuse me. Yeah, I mean, you used to stay here when Andy lived here, right? I mean... Back in the good old days? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you just, you know, crash on the couch. I'll, I'll pillow down there for you. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> no problem. Yeah, I guess I didn't realize how tired I was, but bed... It's couch. Couch sounds really good. Yeah, just, you know, don't snore or anything. I promise. Why don't I fix us all some drinks? No, uh, what would you like? Mom, excuse me. I have to talk privately with Tom. This isn't a tea party, really. Just remember what I said about mistakes. Mothers. 
They never know when to let go, do they? Yeah, look, I don't have much time. What's the matter? You sound a little anxious. It's, uh, it's just, it's just Margo. Well, what's wrong? I thought all the danger was over. She's pretending to be romantically involved with Alec Wallace. Pretending? Yeah. Are you kidding? And I think Alec may be on to her, and I can't find either one of them right now. You know what? I, I may not be the expert here, but... Did you ever... Do you ever consider the possibility that Alec may have started out as the object of Margot's criminal investigation and somehow wound up as something else? You know, sometimes when you're pretending, you... You cross the line. Fantasy and reality blur. Mm, that is not going on. No, I know Margot would never intend it to happen, but... Come on. Here's this very successful, attractive man that she's supposed to get close to somehow. They spend all this time together. Come on, Tom. Margot is too well trained. She has too much integrity. She would never get personally involved. Not like that. I mean, never. Tell me what you're thinking. I lied to you. I distrusted you. I, I spied on you. It's okay, Margo. It was your job. But I, I let it go too far. I didn't want to admit that even to myself. You can't change the past. You can't predict the future. Which pretty much leaves you with the now. So how is your now? It's unexpected. Is it? You're still here with me. You know, you seem to be with me at my most critical moments. Yeah. Yeah, the hangar. No. That was Detective Hughes. At the hospital. When Eddie was in surgery, that was Margot. I was so sure you were gonna kick me out. You gotta be kidding. I never needed anybody so much in my life. Oh, I thought I was gonna lose him. You never even had him. I've changed. Alec, have you? Have you changed? You know that. You know that, and you're responsible. Marco, please, say something. Anything, just say something. you feel like doing some laundry. Uh, never mind. <laughs> it's something fine. Yeah, we can make this I'll work. Make it work. Just, you know what? I just pull this down here, okay. hold it over like this, and then they... Did I say thank you yet? Uh, yeah. Yeah, you did say thanks already. Yeah, it's just, it, it's been a really long time since anybody was just plain old nice to me. Oh, it's not a problem. I, I probably screwed up. All the plans you had for tonight, though, huh? Oh, don't worry about it. I mean, I was just, just watching TV and, uh, you know, it's more fun with company. Even though I won the bet? Oh, I like a smart woman. So, yeah, I mean, you're probably tired. I should I'm gonna go to bed and let sure. you get your sleep. Sure. You, uh, you want some coffee in the morning, or? I'll get it. I'll, I'll make it. How do you like yours? Uh, let, let me guess. You take it black. Yeah, actually, I do. Me too. You know, I why, why dilute a good thing? Exactly. <laughs> what? Nothing, nothing. I'm, uh, I'm gonna go to bed. I got it. I got it. 
die. Miss Conlon here, I'm here to let her into her place. Great. Uh, the crisis is over. So. Yeah. Thank you. I, I locked myself out of my apartment. Yeah, I just got your note. Come on, let's get you home. Yeah, let me just find my shoes. They're here somewhere. Here they are. Chris, I, I don't know how to thank you, really. You are a complete lifesaver. No problem, really. And maybe next time you'll win the bet. Uh, maybe try definitely. Um, till next time. Yeah, till next time. Even if Margo were falling madly in love with the guy, she would not pursue a personal relationship, not while she was on a case. And anybody that says any different is lying. You're right. You're right. Margo is always the detective. I just don't know how she manages to turn her emotions off and on like that. But more power to her. So what did you want to see me about? Oh, you know, I feel... I kind of, I feel silly. I mean, I didn't realize you were in the midst of all this... The stuff still, like... Daniel, our son had a really big burst today, and he sat up all by himself, Tom. That's great. No support. Nothing. Nothing, huh? nothing. All by himself. He was so adorable, and, and I wanted you to see it, but now that you're here, you probably won't do it for me, you know, just to show me up. You know what? He's probably asleep by now, anyway. Well, come on. Let's go wake him up. You I know, just wanna... I can't. I have to find Margo. <sighs> of course you do. I'm sorry. I... Listen, I hope when you find Margo, she's uh, safe and sound, you know, just doing something for herself. Yeah, me too. But she is so driven, she never lets go. Well, there's a verse for everything. Listen, um, good luck finding her. Yeah. Bye. What happened? I couldn't tell him. I couldn't do it. I, he really believes in her, Mom. I just, I couldn't be the one to drop the bomb. Oh, honey, that is exactly right. It's between them. Yeah. Oh, let's celebrate. <laughs> I'll make us a snack, and we can watch a movie on TV. Sounds great. Okay. Nope. Never give up an ace, Emily. Until you come in the whole day. No, Margo, no, no. don't say it. No, please. Alec, please don't. No. We don't. <sighs> okay. Okay. Please. Just tell me what you want. I don't know. Yes, you do. Come on. No, don't. Margo, you want to live. You really want to live, and not for the kids, and not for your job, but for yourself. How long has it been? I don't remember. I'm having a hard time remembering anything. That's good. Because you did the same thing to me. You made me rethink everything. And now it's your turn. Don't back away from it. You think this is real? Yeah. But it's just like the fairy tales say. All you have to do is believe. has just learned the truth about her ex-husband. Your father was feeding me poison. No.